Hello and welcome to the cigar area. I'm Mike Simmons and today I'm going to be smoking and reviewing the new Rocky Patel Ice. Uh, this is sort of a brother cigar to the Rocky Patel Fire which came out about a year or two ago I believe. Uh, this is a Robusto 5x50 ring gauge. Nice rich brown Ecuadorian Habano wrapper very few veins rich dark chocolatey brown looks great uh, the binders Nicaraguan the filler is a mix of Brazilian Hon Honduran and Nicaraguan tobaccos uh, whereas the fire the, the uh, brother to the cigar also had the the same Ecuadorian Habano wrapper uh, Nicaraguan binder but the filler is Mexican Honduran and Nicaraguan so a little bit different uh, this car has a nice really rich earthy smell to it uh, it's kind of a sweet dark smell very rich uh, I'm gonna clip it get this bad boy going Okay, the pre-light draw, nice tobacco core, earthy, looks like I'm in for a treat. I like the uh, Rocky Patel Fire, I bought a box of those right after they came out. I smoked about half of them. I think I still have about four out of the ten in my humidor. Take them out on occasion. Great cigar. Powerful. Old flavors. Very good. Rich, earthy, uh, as I expected, very bold, not full body, I would say medium to full body maybe, on the start, very earthy, rich tobacco-y core flavor to it. This is a nice firm cigar. It's not, it's not overpacked. It's not uh, hard as a rock. It has a little bit of give to it. Uh, the start burn looks nice and even. So I'm going to uh, smoke this for a while and come back and see how it progresses. Okay, welcome back. Uh, well into the first third here of the Rocky Patel ice. Uh, burns going a little crooked right now. A little divot there. Uh, other than that, pretty straight. It's got a nice grayish ash on there. It's uh, about an inch into the cigar at this point. Um, Flavor-wise, Very rich, earthy, deep earthy flavor to it. A uh, touch of cedar, touch of spice, nothing nothing too bold on the spice, just, just a mild spiciness running through it. But it's a deep, rich, earthy, medium body. Kind of as I suspected. Uh, it does taste significantly different from the fire a uh, little bit more mellow it's a little bit of a you know, change of pace if you're looking for a, a rocky that's not too powerful this is a good choice uh, 
I haven't touched it up yet. It looks like if it keeps burning at this particular rate, I might have to touch it up a little bit, but I'm going to let it go for now. We'll see how it goes. No significant change in the flavor since the start. It's remained pretty consistent. Uh, as I said, earthy, rich, very tasty, nice cigar. And what, what you would expect from a Rocky. And give a shout out to another Rocky. Last night at the Golden Globes, uh, one of my favorite actors and fellow cigar smoker, Sylvester Stallone, won Golden Globe for his portrayal of Rocky Balboa in the movie Creed. Uh, was a, was a good film. I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed his performance. I think it was a well earned nod from uh, from the foreign press for Rocky. So good going for Rocky all around so far. All right, I'm going to smoke this into the, to the middle of the cigar here and see how the second third uh, develops and see how that burn develops. So we'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay, welcome back to the cigar area. Um, well into the second third of the Rocky Patel ice. Uh, lost the initial ash at uh, just about two inches. I'd say maybe an inch and three quarters maybe. Uh, I did have to touch it up. It was going uh, a little too haywire there. But after one touch up it, it straightened out fairly well. It's not completely even burn but not too bad. Uh, once again the flavor profile has not changed dramatically. Uh, still a little bit of spice, still a deep rich earthy base flavor to it. Uh, it's a little creamier now on the finish uh, and there's a little bit of a uh, nutty nutmeg type of uh, flavor coming in there. Nothing too potent, just very mild, mild spice, mild nuttiness. Rich earthy core. Uh, it's a delicious cigar. I'm about 30 minutes into it right now. I'll probably get another good 15, 20 minutes out of this easily. Uh, I'm going to take it down uh, into the third third and see what happens. Be back. Alrighty, welcome back to the cigar area. Uh, once again, looking at the Rocky Patel ice, I'm well into the third third here. Uh, you can see the ash is holding on quite nicely. This is the second round of ash. Uh, the burn still a little wavy, but not too bad. We only had one touch up. I'm almost up to the label. About ready to take the label off. Uh, Flavor, flavor profile is mellowed a bit. It's still rich and earthy. Spice is pretty much gone. Creaminess on the finish has increased, if anything. No heat. Nothing negative. Uh, the the nutty uh, nutmeg flavor has gone away too. It's basically down to the to the uh, earthy basic core tobacco flavor. Um, one thing I did notice though is on the retro hail. I'm big on the retro hail because it, it brings your olfactory senses in completely, not just relying on your tongue and your, your mouth for taking the flavors, but by bringing your nose into it, it really enhances the flavor. The retro hail brings in a lot more of the richness into the flavor. Right now I'm going to attempt to remove this label, add to my collection. So far coming off nicely. Yes, just the right amount of glue. Label came off nicely. Uh, I 
like I said, still rich, earthy flavor, very, very pleasant smoke. Uh, I'm going to continue to smoke this down to the finger burning nub. And uh, I, I still think I'm going to get about another good 10 minutes out of it, maybe more. I've got just about an hour into it now, about 50, 55 minutes. Uh, for a Robusto, it's, it's burning quite slowly, and it's quite enjoyable. All in all, the Rocky Patel Ice, I give it a, about, about an 8 out of 10. Uh, not for the flavor so much, but just for the burn. I uh, was a little disappointed that, that the uh, burn is not more straight than it, than it has proven to be, be but uh, all in all, it's a, it's a good cigar. Uh, nice long smoke for a Robusto, good earthy flavor, very enjoyable. New one from Rocky, give it a try. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Mike Simmons. This is the Cigar Area. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out my website, thecigarareria.com. And I will see you next time. Is too much in this 